Good afternoon, folks. On the precipice of the Earth disaster cycle reset and the next age of Earth, it is not lost on me that my advice to not try to talk about this topic is largely ignored. So if you fall into that category, here are the three key things you need to communicate to someone. First, this is a cyclical event. Some form of geomagnetic excursion, a pole shift, has happened every 6,000 years going back a long way, with more major events on the double every 12,000 years. We are at that 12,000 year mark right now. You can see here a list of magnetic excursion pole shift anomalies in the data every 6,000 years, with the last one being 6,000 years ago. The only oddity here is the fact that the last one, 6,000 years ago, was actually the last to be officially discovered. It was evident in the data and we have shown that for years, but it wasn't until last year when two separate teams found evidence in China and then Russia and officially declared it to be an excursion. So this is number one. It is a clear cycle and that cycle is due again right now. Not surprisingly, at the exact time we are due for the cycle, it is happening, unfolding as we speak. The magnetic poles are shifting and their shift is accelerating faster and faster. We also have the concurrent weakening of Earth's magnetic field, the second part of the two quintessential signs of the shift. It was already known and known to be speeding up, and we spent a lot of last year suggesting it had sped up again, only to have one of the best in the world, Sergei Semenenko, come out in early April of this year with the evidence of a powerful magnetic anomaly and that acceleration of the situation in March of 2023. That's number two, that we are not only due for the shift, but it is indeed happening, accelerating, and we're now rapidly spiraling towards the next geomagnetic excursion and pole shift. Lastly is number three. These are extinction level events. This is the best paper simply because it is so thorough. It's the best geomagnetic scientists on Earth, and it appears in the number one geophysics journal in the world. But it is just one of many you can find discussing how dangerous these magnetic pole shift events actually are. Most do so from the standpoint of the weaker magnetic field, letting in more UV radiation, ultraviolet, and how it destroys the ozone. And that surely is a concern for both the climate and biological health. But in addition to added UV radiation and ozone destruction, there's an increase in cosmic rays, which have further impacts on weather and cellular processes, as well as human psychology. It leaves the Earth more vulnerable to space weather, meaning our technological civilization could be wiped out. No power, no heat, no water purification or distribution, no refrigeration or transportation of food, no gas, no ATMs, nothing. Many wouldn't survive that. And lastly, there are always concurrent upticks in volcanoes, earthquakes, and tsunamis with these magnetic pole shifts. In fact, much of the past evidence can be found in the cooled lava flows or the surge deposits from those tsunamis. While many aspects of the disaster cycle are open for discussion, these three are not and are not really disputed by any serious geophysicist. The cycle is real and we are due for it to happen again now just so happens, we are seeing the key signs right on time, and they are speeding up to a peak in the coming years. Finally, this is a major extinction level event due to climate impacts, increases in radiation, tectonic instability, and for humans, now also the loss of electric infrastructure. If you do insist on putting yourself out there and talking about Fight Club, so to speak, I recommend you rewatch and study and intimately get to know these three facts. They're the best way to introduce this topic anyway. Subscribe and I will see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.